Hello, third graders. Welcome to lesson 4.2. We're going to start by reviewing a little bit about what we did yesterday. So take a look at this red line segment. How long is it? It is six inches long, right? But what about this one? It's shorter. What? What? How long is this one? All right, remember what we talked about here. There's the two, there's the three. Halfway between, we would write two and one half. This is a mixed number. When you're typing it, you write a two and then put a space and then a one slash two like that. Two and one half. So uh, we've learned a little bit about measurement. Today, we are going to take measurement and think about how we could organize it. Okay, uh, and so we might have uh, some data about a class uh, or, you know, or any group of people or any group of anything. And one way to organize that data is called a line plot. Now, the key things about the line plot is it has a title and the title tells about the line plot. So this is a line plot called hours of exercise. And then it has different measurements along the bottom, right? So zero hours one-fourth of an hour, one-half of an hour, three-fourths of an hour, and one hour. So this number right here on the end represents the smallest number of measure of, of hours of exercise, right? The people, and you can see three people, three people exercised zero. Poor guys. I mean, they're probably playing too many video games, right? Video games can be good, but not if you don't get any exercise also. Uh, so... What about the largest, right? Now, a lot of people say, okay, the largest, it's this one because it has the most. But the most people, the people who got the most exercise are way over on this side, aren't they? Right? These people exercise for an entire hour. These people only exercise for a quarter of an hour, one fourth of an hour, which would be 15 minutes. So the smallest amount of exercise is here and the largest amount of exercise is here. And we can organize any kind of data uh, on a line plot like this, including data with measurement. So our goal here uh, is to be able to create met to create me measurement data and represent data on a line plot. We'll be doing some of the creating of the data in our live session. Um, today, we're right here on the video uh, and in your math journal, we're really gonna focus on how we would represent the data, okay? And so we're, you can see we're representing a data set, set in our standard. So here is a line plot about candy bars. So all the students in the class were asked how many candy bars they had, and these were their answers. So we could figure out how many kids are in this class. Well, what would we need to do? We would just need to count the X's because each X is a kid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 kids in this class. That's a really small class, isn't it? We can also figure out what the smallest number of candy bars is. Now, don't be tempted to say four, okay? Because there's some of these people have less than four candy bars. This person has the smallest number of candy bars. What is the smallest number of candy bars? Zero, none. One person has no candy bars. See how that works? What's the largest number of candy bars? Now, you, again, you'll be tempted to say five, but some people have more than five candy bars. Look at these people. They have eight candy bars. So we're not talking about how tall the stacks are. We're talking about how small and how big the numbers are. Okay, the largest number of candy bars is eight. All right, you help me here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. How many people went to the mall? So I want you to count those X's. How many people went to the mall? All right, let's see. I have five people here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh boy, this is a lot. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Did I say that right? Let's count. I want to count that again. 
20 at 2021. Well, 5, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh my goodness. 21. Well, at least I double checked my, uh, my, uh, counting here. So I was able to get it right. 21 trips to the mall. 21 people went to the mall, right? So we could count the X's to get that. What is the smallest number of trips? What do you think? It is zero. It is not two. Okay. Some people had less than two. Some people had one and the smallest number along the bottom is zero. It is that number is also called the minimum, right? The minimum is the smallest. What is the largest number of trips? Three, right? Nobody had more than three trips to the mall. All right. So what are we working on here? We are creating measurement data and representing the data on a line plot. Now I said, this is the page we're going to hopefully work on in our live sessions. That's my plan as of now. This is the page that we are going to uh, work on here on our own. So go ahead and turn to page 104. So when you work on this page, you can see the directions. Let's read the directions. A fourth grade class is going to use their shoe length data to buy gym shoes for the entire fourth grade. Use their line plot to answer the questions. So here's their shoe sizes or shoe lengths, I guess, in inches. Okay, so you have some kids with nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, and 12. So we have to figure out how many children are in this class and how did you know? How did you figure that out? I think you remember how to do that. What's the longest? So the biggest, the maximum shoe length. What's the shortest? And then down here, we have a question that you are going to answer. It says, Aubrey thinks the class should buy a few pair of shoes that are 11 inches long although no one in the class has that shoe length. Do you agree? Explain. That's interesting. You're going to have to use your thinking brain. Imagine you were really this group of kids. Would you buy some that were 11? Why or why not? All right. So that is where we're at, uh, third graders. You are working with line plots today. Uh, if you have any questions about line plots, can let me know. And this is our math journal page to turn in, not the other one. Okay, we'll look at that uh, in our group. All right, that's all third grade. Good luck.